Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett. Bennett congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness and Bahraini citizens on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness and Bennett reviewed regional and international topics of common interest as well as ways to further enhance bilateral cooperation across all levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, and members of the Board of Directors at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness noted the private sector's contributions to the Kingdom's development process, reiterating that economic sectors should contribute to the national economy and the economic recovery plan's progress led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's positive economic indicators, which are a promising sign for the Kingdom's future success. He highlighted highlighted BCCI's role in representing the Kingdom's industrial and commercial sectors. He stressed the importance of developing the Kingdom's public and private partnerships and strengthening the private sector's role as a driver for the economy. His Royal Highness congratulated the BCCI chairman and members on their success in very recent elections and exchanged congratulations on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. He highlighted the importance of creating investment opportunities and developing legislation that facilitates business operations and services. He added that communication channels are always open for the private sector to discuss the kingdom's economic development. His Royal Highness also noted that cooperation is key to success and turning challenges into opportunities. He highlighted the private sector's pivotal role in Bahrain's effective COVID-19 response. His Royal Highness commended the role of BCCI and its committees in meeting local market needs and stabilizing the prices of goods in partnership with the private sector. The BCCI chairman and members expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted his commitment to strengthening the private sector and supporting the chamber's efforts. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zayed Al Zayani also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas. The Chairman commended His Royal Highness's assertion that the Kingdom of Bahrain will continue strengthening the partnership between the public and private sectors, intensify efforts to enhance economic growth as well as support development opportunities that serve the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Chairman extended thanks to His Royal Highness for receiving the BCCI Board of Directors, which is in line with His Royal Highness's approach based on direct constructive communication and commitment to be informed about BCCI's visions and ideas on ways to better serve the Kingdom's development and economic growth. He commended the directors of His Royal Highness to develop the private sector and strengthen cooperation with the government and ensure an effective partnership between the two sectors. He affirmed that BCCI and the private sector will carry on their dedicated efforts to boost the Kingdom's development, further economic growth and turn challenges into real achievements in order to meet the aspirations of Bahraini citizens. Citizens. The United Nations honored the kingdom represented by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation in appreciation of its efforts in humanitarian work and support for refugees and the affl afflicted in various countries and its sustainable development and aid projects. RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayed received an honorary shield by UN High Commissioner for Refugees Senior Advisor and GCC Representative Khalid Khalifa. The UNCHR Senior Advisor praised the Kingdom's efforts in supporting refugees, taking into account their humanitarian situation and its provision of aid to various affected and afflicted from around the world. He stressed that this special honor from the UN comes in appreciation of Bahrain for being one of the first countries and providing support and taking initiative. Dr. Sayed expressed his gratitude to the Honorary President of RHF, His Majesty the King, for his constant care for all RHF's work, hailing the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard. He highlighted the keenness of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the help of Bahraini citizens to the needy in various circumstances. 
UNIDO Bahrain held a press conference following the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum held between the 28th to the 30th of March in Dubai Expo 2020 with 560 participants from 100 countries consisting of entrepreneurs, startups, investors, government representatives, NGOs and more from across the globe to exchange knowledge, share innovative practices and leverage foreign and direct investments. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. UNIDO Bahrain held a press conference following the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum to highlight success stories from entrepreneurs of startups to innovators across the country. During the period from 28th until 30th of March 2022, a delegation from the Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the World International Entrepreneur Forum in its fourth edition. And the other forum, the other meeting that was going along with the forum, which is the annual international meeting. Uh, during uh, those two activities, the Bahraini delegation was uh, distinguished as uh, speakers, as uh, moderators, and this was organized through the UNIDO, the UN Industrial Development Organization office in Bahrain, uh, where the, all this event was organized and they took a number of Bahraini entrepreneurs to attend this forum. The press conference also featured discussions about women-owned and youth-owned businesses and their investors, aiming to achieve economic development and empowerment of youth and women in the kingdom and across the world. I was very pleased with the results of attending the WEF. Um, I was offered uh, by the um, EDP from the United Arab Emirates to set up my factory in the Emirates. Um, I was also offered by... Um, in Arabic, Raisat Ghirfat al Tijara fi Masr, to uh, set up my business as well in Egypt uh, as a result of attending the WEF. The forum where Mr. Farooq Al Mu'ayyad was honored for his effective role in the development of entrepreneurship and investment serves as a platform to address what is needed to be done on the level of governments, multinational organizations, and the private sector to achieve economic resilience post COVID 19 in the Arab region, Africa, and the world. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The National Medical Task Force for Combating COVID-19 announced that after the approval of Coordinating Committee and based on the latest developments, that starting tomorrow, the health isolation protocol will be updated, whereby existing cases can end their isolation period earlier than advised after testing and obtaining a negative result.